Hi, um, this is me back with a review for Lady Cup as well as a comparison video. Um, I have both sizes this time of this particular product. Lady Cup comes in two sizes, has a ton of different colors, yellow, turquoise, green, blue, pink, red. It's pretty amazing. There's different shades of pink. They're, they're hard not to buy from. Uh, they come in really pretty pouches. You can also buy the pouches individually if you want extras. There's a bunch of different really pretty patterns. Just simple cotton bags. Um, so I first started with the small and this one was a bit too short like in the body for me personally. I have a high cervix, um, weak pelvic floor muscles. I'm 23 and don't have children so I did stick with the company suggestion by getting a small but I'd really like to say that sometimes those suggestions do not apply to all people. Um, some people that have given birth might um, prefer the smaller size. People that haven't given birth or, or are young might prefer the larger size and that was definitely the case with me so I would really encourage anyone to get to know their anatomy a little bit and that will help you to decide the size you should get for you to fit you personally because you're not like everyone else. So there are six holes. I want to point out the holes first and foremost because there's a little issue with them. They're downward slanted. There's six holes and they're kind of large and while I wouldn't say that this cup leaked for me, there was an issue and this is gross, I apologize, but there was some uterine tissue which is soaked in blood, right? It's partially in and then it came out a hole and then I did experience a few like blood spots outside of my body, but that happened once and never happened again, so I uh, can't dock too many points from that, <laughs> but there you go. And they are easier to clean. There's some menstrual cups with teeny tiny holes and you have to like push them against your hand and force water through them and, or use high pressure water from your sink. <laughs> And yeah, so those are a lot easier to clean. One thing about these cups is they're rated a two on the stiffness chart, and that is for the body. Um, the rims are a lot firmer, and they pop open quite easily. The rims themselves, I did not see them have a stiffness scale, so I had no idea just how much firmer they would be uh, in comparison to the body, and they're there's a very large difference in my opinion. And they have really soft squishy stems and grip bumps that go all the way to the base, which I don't prefer. They weren't that useful to me. I don't really, I don't pull on my cups through the stem. I need to grab the base to uh, help pull it out. Stems are worthless to me. So as someone with a long cervix, this was hard to reach because it was way up there and then the grip rings at the base of the cup didn't really help me a whole lot. But after I switched the large, that uh, helped significantly. Um, Stemicides, the large is longer, so I could grab more of the cup. It was more within reach to help take it out. The suction on these is pretty strong though, so I actually had to pull it down and then break the seal all the way up. <laughs> I couldn't just grab the base and rock it out because the suction was really strong. I don't know whether that's due to the six holes that it has or the combination of a really, really soft body if it just enhances suction. I'm really not sure, but I'd recommend being gentle with yourself while removing these. Um, let's look at diameter. They are the same stiffness. I know some brands, the small will be a different stiffness than the large, but they're, they're the same. So let's 
compare to some other popular brands like a Diva Cup. <laughs> Similar, or like, no. Nah. Dave Cup is larger in diameter, longer in body, and it is a size one. And in comparison to the large, this is actually why I became a lot more comfortable with trying a large Lady Cup because the comparison photos between small sizes of other companies and the large of a Lady Cup didn't seem too far off. Now I'm I'm going to test the stiffness of just the rims. I'm not going to try and attempt to single out the base of the lady cup. And the rim is firmer than the diva. This is a large lunette, which is rated about an eight on the firmness scale that everyone uses. Let's see. Huh. feel somewhat similar. And here's it against the small, so you can see how teeny tiny the small lady cup is. Oh, it's very cute though. This is a Moon Cup UK. Which I think is softer. This is a completely scientific approach to testing firmness, by the way. <laughs> I wish there was another way I could do it, but I don't know of one. So this is a small lunette. Very similar in size. The lunette has a more swelled curvature of its body. And is softer. This is a medium Miluna. Which I feel is softer. And yeah, that's uh, that's the Lady Cup. Um, I hope it was useful to someone. I really like this company and you should really go on their page and check out all of their pretty colors and then come back and tell me if you could resist buying <laughs> any of those. <laughs>